in the morning when I get up and before I eat breakfast and everything. First thing I do is come over and it asks you, it, you know, if you're ready for a check, you press yes. And it starts asking you questions. Are you feeling more short breath today? No. You step on the scale and it will tell you what your weight is. And this is recorded back up into the clinic. A group of our heart failure patients that are more ill or more fragile, uh, we will use a home telemonitoring scale to help manage those patients on a daily basis. And we've used that now for 11 years. It's been very successful. If they alarm, either in their weight or symptoms, then they'll get a phone call. Your weight is up a little bit today. How are you feeling? Are you? You're all pooped out, huh? More than usual? Take one extra tablet today with your afternoon dose. And that's for today only, okay? For our patients on the scale, our readmission rate has been stellar. The national average for heart failure readmission in a six-month period of time is about 40%. And our data for patients on the scales is 2%. And that's our, those are our sickest patients. Okay. About a year ago, he, it was like our lifeline to him to monitor his weight. He was very symptomatic. He was on oxygen. He was in a wheelchair and couldn't even walk into the clinic from his car. I had trouble just getting from the bedroom to the bathroom or from the chair to the bathroom. Looking at your scale, your numbers did go up a couple pounds. Basically everything was okay today except the weight was up a little bit this morning. We know why that went up a little bit. So more sodium than I should have. We watch them and we've got a trend on the scale and if they jump up a couple pounds overnight we recognize that that's increasing fluid however the patient may not notice symptoms or call until they're really symptomatic you know shorter breath um, and maybe needing to go to the ER. With the accountable care organizations on the forefront this is exactly what they're asking us to do they're asking us to manage populations that improves outcomes and decreased costs and here we are, we've done it. We've been doing it for 10 years. We have 10 years worth of data showing that this works. We're like a big family. Well, you interact with them, if not you know, weekly, sometimes daily, you know, and you follow them and their family through uh, which can be some traumatic times, difficult times, and then it's fun to be on the other side uh, like Jack to see him doing so well. Last uh, June, I couldn't come downstairs and enjoy my shop down here that I greatly enjoy. So the scales basically you know, become part of my r daily routine. I know that if I do something wrong that Kathy or Greg or Jen will be on the telephone by 9 o'clock calling me and you know, telling me, ah, ah, you know, you did something wrong, you know, let's talk about it. It was a lifesaver between the LVAD and the scale and the health care that I get from the clinic, from the heart uh, department. I, I don't think I would be here. We are a model that is helping improve heart failure care, not just across the Essentia footprint, but across the whole United States, which is uh, exciting to me because I believe that we're doing this the right way. And, uh, and so to be able to share that with others is huge.